grab that. Let's see if there's anything else around here. I need you to be friends with me, please, and not be the bringer of my death! Oh my god. Parker! Defend me! Oh my god. I'm not even able to play the video game right now. Are you playing a video game? I'm not. I'm getting fucking squitted. Oh my god! Three in a row! Parker, why che can't you be Meat Shield? Why does it gotta be me? Like, <laughs> George came over here and was like, Pets? And then I shouted, Oh my god. And he's like, Okay, no pets, sorry. <laughs> Alright. Now, if I could go back down, not get squitted, and down here, I believe, isn't this the where the fucking scanny door is? Yeah. See there. I wanted to go here. I don't even know what the hell is over here. I don't know if we're supposed to. Oh, I think actually we are supposed to go this way. Well, isn't that? Good? Wait a minute. Was there a thing down there? Aim down. Yep, there sure was. Uh, up is air. Yeah. See, like this is what I mean. Right here, we are physically below the elevator shaft, which has water above us. So why wouldn't it fill this spot here? That's what I don't understand. Like, I understand if, you know, you look at a milk carton and you can see where, like, there's the air between, like, the the actual top of it and then in the parts of the handle. Like, I see that. Because that's all in one plane. But we're talking, like, something that's physically above and below it. Now we're back here. Well... We did it. I guess we need to go th up the elevator shaft anyway. We need to get out of here, Jill. Hold on a sec. I want to look around the ship. Hey, Parker, you know we never went through this door. Hey, Jill, we're dying. Yeah, but Parker, we, we, have you been through this door? I haven't. I want to know what's behind it. I think right now probably the worst thing about this section is the idea of me rapidly pressing B in order to play the game. That's probably audible, I'm not really sure. I know it, <laughs> you could hear when I uh, mash wiggle free on the control stick. And it's even better when like I'm talking and you can start to hear it and then I mute it because I, I go quiet and just start playing on the control stick. I think that's funny just because of how abrupt it is. Alright, so Parker, can we get up or what? Yeah, right here. I found it, Parker. You're welcome. This is Chris. Are you two alright? Chris! Yes, we're fine. But the ship is sinking fast. We're approaching the Queen Zenobia now. Rendezvous with the ship's hall. Roger. We'll be waiting. Okay, see you soon. Chris out. Chris! Did you know I saw you, but you were a mannequin? Someone really likes you, Chris. I think that jump right there is fucking insane. No human can jump like that. What the hell is Jill made out of? Man, I got fucking... Just PTSD. Wait a minute. Yeah, PTSD from just seeing that fan, because I'm like, oh, there's going to be a chargey guy. Oh. I guess there's not going to be a chargey guy. See, and like, in this case... The question is, how did the water end up in this one section? But that could be answered pretty easily by, it depends on where the leak came from. Because there's not really any way for it to end up in that area, but I guess if like one of the walls was touching another wall with water and then it breached through, then I suppose. But, yeah. Alright, so what kind of shit do we get, Jill? Damage 4! Fire rate three. That was it. I thought we grabbed more. Okay. Um. 
your damage four. Did we take it? Your damage four. And your damage six? Take it off for a sec. Oh. Apparently I've just got a bunch of damage fours. Well, that's pretty cool. That's like basically every single gun except for this one. So guess what? You get an upgrade. You too can be damage four. Check it out. You're like a hundred points stronger. Uh, and then fire rate. I thought I saw... Oh, it's not compatible with this one? Of course it's not. That says rifle and handgun. Alright, well, if it's going to be exclusive to those... Take it off. It's faster than the fire rank 2 anyway. And aren't you just fire rate 1? So take that off. And then we can put 2 onto you. Now it's a little bit faster. And it was just damage and fire rate. Um, that says 30. Hey, I guess that's, um... That does it, then. Unless we wanted to upgrade the damage on the machine gun, which I would, but we don't have the available space. Hear that? There. Veltro! You almost missed the party. I don't think I shot at anything. Approaching the Queen Zenobia now. Rendezvous at the ship's hall. Roger. We'll be waiting. Okay. See you soon. Chris out. That's it. Queen Zenobia. Oh, jeez. More like what's left of her. Stay sharp. There's something out there. I just wouldn't be Resident Evil without... How do I shoot? Why? Okay. Without a terrible fucking turret section. And that's probably strange. Um, considering in all of the LPs we haven't had a, a stupid turret section yet. But, um... Getting the satellite's laser fried out all the electronics. Yeah. It's worse than a blackout. How many of these things are there? Your aim's sharp, but not letting up. Okay, now that we're done talking over each other. Um, cool down. We're going around, hang on. If Resident Evil 5, 6, and this all have dumb turret sections, I don't even remember if Revelations 2 did or not. I'm gonna say no. I don't remember, but dumb turret sections are a thing that I don't think anybody in any video game ever actually enjoys at all, and I'm not entirely sure why they are made. Like, maybe they're made specifically to spite players? I'm not sure. But, um, hope you fucking enjoy, because I'm damn sure not about to. Like, aiming at a stupid little tentacle is fucking difficult enough, and being mounted to a gun and forced to take damage is even worse. And I have just one herb left. Also, cooldown is a terrible fucking thing. I don't care if it's realistic. It's fucking realistically goddamn annoying. It's a video game. I'm not playing. I'm fighting a stupid ass squid monster. You talking about realism? Get out of here. Look at this. There's nothing realistic about this. You don't need fucking cooldown on your stupid guns. Still waiting. Still waiting. Still waiting. I was just hitting the A button as I died.
guess we're about as close as where we were before. Let's think about it. I was like, I'm not really sure how much this talk and stuff I want to do. Alright, now it's time to heal. Been a little bit more conservative with my he healing, healing items. See, I just hate fucking sections like this in general. I don't know a single person in the world who legitimately likes them. We need a good spot to board the Zenobia. We can board from here. Jessica, we have a promise to keep. Let's go. Great. A cruise, just the two of us. Only the whole thing is sinking. Friendly BSAA patrons, you stopped the Regia Solis. Now I will reveal what I know. Everything about the Queen Zenobia and the secrets she keeps. What secrets? Consider this. First, why did it take till now to find the Queen Zenobia? How was it able to float around the Mediterranean undetected? It wasn't magic. Second, why did all traces of Veltro vanish after the Terragrigia panic? Why don't you tell us, huh? Huh. And third, why is someone trying to use the Regia Solus to destroy the Zenobia? The answer to those questions will lead you to an inconvenient truth. You were to have found it, and that... <laughs> Jessica, why did you fire? To protect our people. Isn't that our job? <clears throat> Don't you dare die. <clears throat> Damn. Raymond? What? Why? Why play the part of Veltro? Twelve percent accuracy. Holy shit, that's a that's a beautiful one right there. And that was only four minutes. Oh man, here I was thinking. I was like, you could just fast forward that second attempt. I don't even know. Did it count the second attempt as part of the time limit? Because if so, that would mean it was like a two-minute mission. Regardless, it was something crazy. So there's that. Oh, editing this session is going to be an interesting experiment, apparently. I also thought they were going to have us Chris all the way down there instead. I didn't expect it to go straight to cutscene.